Alright, hey guys, it's Corey K. Um, this is my PS3 controller. I wasn't using this for about uh, maybe a year because my analog stick was broke. And it was doing that thing where you push forward and it gets stuck. Uh, it, it would get stuck like, like, if you could see, it would get stuck like right here and right here on the controller. So, um, I don't know why I didn't think of that, about this before, but, um, to fix this problem and to not have to, like, get silicone or do any of this stuff to get inside of the controller, this may work for some people, it may not work for you, but what you're going to need is, uh, this is just a nickel, but that's, besides, that's the measuring point, I guess we could say. You're going to need a rubber band, about this small, about, a, about as big as a nickel, see that? But as big as a nickel, and it's got to be a little stretchy, like pretty stretchy. Cause I have some other ones here, these ones, but they're uh, too tight. These ones are too tight to use. So put those to the side. You really don't need those. I'm just gonna put those up here. But this is all you need. And um, uh, this controller was broken, and I would push up, and then we get stuck, and I get pissed off. And I didn't have all the stuff to fix it, the silicone or whatever you need to clean it out. And it's now working on my PlayStation, which is over here, but you can't see it. And you can see that it's connected. <clears throat> Plus, I had to take apart some stuff. Because this was a fake controller that I had, and my analog sticks were shit. So, I took the buttons off, I took these buttons off, and I took the those and the PlayStation button. And I threw them into this thing. And everything works fine, but this is the reference controller I guess I'm going to be using, which this one isn't broken, like it works perfectly fine, the analog sticks, but they're kind of shitty. So, what you're going to need to do is put the rubber band right on the analog stick, just like that. If you can see it's wrapped, it's right on top of it. And you see these little, like if you look down, kind of, if I pull this up, so there's like this little piece down here, there's this, and then there's this right here, the end of it. This little green, the end of the little green piece that sticks out of the bottom of the controller. What you want to do is take your, uh, it's going to be hard for me to do this with one hand, so. Let me just set this kind of like that, and then I'll show you guys how I did it. And then you want to take it, and when it's on there, you want to try to wrap it around that little tiny base at the bottom. And then wrap it around the other side. Now, it's going to take a while to get this, to do this, but... Because that kind of wants to let up. But when you get it in there and it's just fine. And, and you can get it. I mean you can also like maybe uh, put a little. Maybe glue at the bottom right there. If you want to keep it just like this. But what's going to happen is the rubber band. If you can see it right now. You can see the analog stick. The rubber band is going to use the tension. And it's going to pull back. It, it's going to pull back. On that part that wants to stick. Unless it's not like extremely. Um, stuck on there, like if it doesn't stick extremely hard, it's going to want to pull back. So it's going to want to set back into place. But what you want to make sure when you do this is that your controller, I mean that your rubber band isn't too tight, that it's going to be pulling backwards on the analog stick. That It's going to, um, it's going to pull like back on it like that. So you want to make sure it just goes right back into place just like that. And that seems pretty good. Um, and then you want to put your controller back together. This one I'm not using at the moment. I was using it for fair pieces. Uh, but that's pretty much how you fix it. And I can show you the results of the product, I guess, fixed. This is my analog stick. It's stuck. Now it doesn't stick. See, it goes right back into place. There's a slight... But the thing you're going to have to worry about also is, don't use a thick, you can use a thick rubber band so that it doesn't get stuck inside the box, the analog box. It may get stuck inside there for just a split second, um, but if it's really, if it's strong and it's just going to spring it right back into place, just like that. So now I can use this controller, it's perfectly fine. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.